Well, what started as an online political spat between two congressional candidates has erupted into an all-out war of words. Incumbent Democratic Representative Rob Menendez and his opponent, Hoboken Mayor Ravi Bala, are in the midst of a nasty fight on social media, and neither side is pulling punches as we near the June primary. Both are vying for the seat in Hudson County's 8th Congressional District. As senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports, Bala appears to have the edge, at least when it comes to fundraising. It's gloves off, knives out online in the 8th Congressional District race. Incumbent Rob Menendez started it last week, slamming his opponent for unethically doing a political interview at Hoboken City Hall, where Ravi Bala's the mayor. Challenger Bala shot back, wow, the entitled son of corrupt Bob Goldbar Menendez trying to lecture me about ethics. They're still at it. And his father used his weight and influence to give his son a congressional seat. That is nepotism, rank nepotism at its worst. That's where he's going to want to pivot every single time. He's not going to want to address his own failures as mayor, his own ethical issues. Menendez says a couple of city council members blew the whistle on Bala, who admits he shouldn't have done a political interview inside City Hall. We did this one on the sidewalk. I do concede the tone is not what voters deserve, but I would like to see more on the substance so we can show people how we are different. We're proud of how we've represented the 8th Congressional District. That's what we want to talk about. But again, we're not going to let him set a false narrative about who we are and the work that we're doing. Hudson View correspondent John Hines posted rock'em sock'em robots after Monday's round one in the online political boxing match. You hit each other till somebody's head pops off and that's pretty much what they were doing on this exchange. To the Bolder, bigger point, though, I mean, him and Ravi just really don't like each other. And um, I don't think either side is going to give an inch between now and June. I think this is an indication that nobody's going to let anybody come up for air at any point in time without answering it back. Right as Micah Rasmussen says each candidate's vying for voter attention, Rob Menendez is a first-term incumbent, and while he scored the coveted endorsement of Hudson County's powerful Democratic political machine, it abandoned his father after Senator Bob Menendez's latest indictment on corruption charges. What's in a name? Even though Rob Menendez is not on trial, they have the same name, and that's, I think, alone is quite problematic. How many voters in the 8th District even know that there's two Menendez's? Probably not a lot. Bala served as mayor here for six years and sees an opening to take down the Menendez dynasty. His campaign's collecting money from small donors and early fundraising shows some stunning figures. Bala raised $974,000 in the fourth quarter of last year. That's almost triple the 348000 incumbent Menendez brought in. It's a historic, Rasmussen says. Nobody who has ever run for the House in New Jersey before has raised as much money as he did in his first quarter. It tells me that as Menendez was putting together the pieces, it wasn't enough to stave off the sense that he was vulnerable, the sense that he could be beaten. Bala's got about 915000 in cash on hand now, with Menendez behind by more than 200000 Much of the incumbents' donations come from major players and PACs. In politics, money talks, but the county machine can still make it rain for Menendez. Moreover, it doesn't look like this district has ever elected anyone off the line. I would say the organizational edge goes to Menendez so far, and Bala's got his work cut out for him between now and June. Expect a rock'em sock'em campaign. In Hoboken, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.